Hello and welcome back to Man V Film. This is my first second run title that I have reviewed on the channel and I'm about to and it is Pedro Costa's Vitalina Varela and this one uh, comes down to Biffa, a, a channel member uh, who bought this for me. Uh, he loved the movie so much he wanted me to experience it and experience it I did. This is a movie that is could be described as very slow or very methodical in the way that it's moving. It's very measured in the way it's telling its tale and it's all about the titular character of uh, Vitalina who has arrived from Cape Verde to Lisbon to meet her husband who she just finds out has died three days prior and she arrives in this country not really knowing any people and not really knowing uh, this kind of world and is trying to navigate that while dealing with the grief and loss of her husband and along the way she discovers lots of information about his illicit lifestyle and amongst this place. This movie is beautifully shot from its opening shot of this long shadowy uh, alleyway as this group of people come stumbling out like almost The Walking Dead. Um, this movie kind of tackles imagery in a really stunning manner. There are lots of wonderful shots within the movie, plenty of them played within shadows. It feels like a very dark film. For a country that's uh, pretty sunny and pretty bright, this feels that there is a, a, a wave of, of darkness over Vitalina and everything that she touches. Everything is, is within a, a kind of dark, shadowy aspect. The way she is feeling as the grief overtakes the screen uh, coming across it. There is wonderful kind of cutaway sequences of her husband traversing this land in an almost ghostly afterlife manner as Vitalina kind of follows his movements and discovers more and more about the, the character. Uh, there's some wonderful scenes in this that I really did love, uh, particularly one with a preacher uh, as she kind of sits down and talks to this man. The staging of the setup, the way they move about that scene, the conversation that they have, um, the performances uh, from Vitalina is, is very subdued uh, and sullen. Um, the one from the preacher in this one is a really emotive piece of acting as you feel the turmoil within his soul as he has this regret of life choice. He's this man who is there to forgive uh, and allow people to move on, has found himself stuck within a certain level of grief himself. And it matches Vitalina who is looking for some kind of closure, is looking to kind of move on and looking to continue the, the rituals of, of loss by having uh, this preacher give a kind of mass in honour of her husband. The way she's discovering information through hushed whispers or things lying about his room uh, is wonderful. I particularly like a lot of... Um, what Vitalina is doing with her performance. It feels very stilted, it's very, um, it's not animated at all, very controlled in what she's doing. Uh, a lot of the time she's talking to herself, uh, talking to her husband who's not really there, asking him the questions that she never got a chance to ask him, talking about her previous life and the way it kind of affected her. And this is a movie that, like I said, it's very measured. It can be described as slow, it doesn't move at a quick pace and that kind of sullen, slow nature of the movie is something that really burrows itself beneath the skin as it gets uh, into your psyche, as you start to think about this movie, about this character, about how she handled herself, of all the thoughts that are making uh, her go in a thousand and one different directions at one time as she struggles to deal with everything within this world that she just doesn't want to be in now. I really liked Vitalina uh, Varela. I think it's a, a kind of hard movie to recommend. It's not for everybody. Uh, if you can connect with it in any kind of level whatsoever, I think you're going to find something there uh, that's going to come back 
uh, in just your regular day. You can be walking down the street and catch an image that reminds you of something beautifully shot in this movie that just makes you want to revisit it. If you do check it out, I'd love to know your thoughts. If you have seen it, let me know in the comment box below. And I'll see you next time on Man V Film.